Okay, is that like kind of centered? It's movie Monday and today I've decided to release one of my guilty pleasures. It's the lake house. I sometimes feel as if I'm invisible. I never felt that way when I lived at the lake house. It's the one place I felt most like my true self. Okay, so this is obviously a romance, right? It's a romance and it's a remake, I think from a South Korean film, though I can't remember the name and I've never obviously seen it. And who you just saw was Kate, played by Sandra Bullock. And I think right away, we have to recognize that one of the draws of this movie is that it's reuniting Sandra Bullock with her speed co-star Keanu Reeves. I bought a house on the lake. It's beautiful. Okay, so it's like a time travel thing, but instead of it being across decades or across centuries, it's between 2004 and 2006. So... Dear new tenant, welcome to your new home. I'm sure you'll love living here as much as I did. And they discover this by corresponding through the mailbox of the house that they've both lived in but two years apart. What do you mean you lived here? Since no one has lived in this house for years. And I'm warning you, there's lots and lots of plot holes when it comes to this method of communication, okay? Like, do not expect to be able to follow it. And yes, some of you are going to get angry with how, like, the correspondence goes, like a conversation when she has to be driving out there on her day off. Like, why do I love this movie despite all this, right? Why? Well... Even though this is clearly impossible, it's amazing. You will love this movie if you love love because it is purely a romance. The, the central part of it all the time, it's about getting these two people together. Now, I do have some criticisms because the male lead has a fairly rich B story and the female lead not as much. On his side, he's got his dad, who is aloof, also an architect, and I feel his story is, is a stronger connection to the lake house itself. I mean, it's beautiful, seductive even, but it's incomplete. Whereas her story, yes, her mom is there and there's some conversations about her dad, but most of her B story is really this ex-boyfriend who wants to build a life with her and she's just not so into him. And it is disappointing when the female character doesn't have as developed a story that it doesn't have to do with romance than a male character. So that annoys me. And I still will watch this movie whenever it's on. Kate, I'm going to tell you what I tell every young doctor. On your day off, get as far away from this place as you can. Well, it's partly just that they talk. How's your sunset? Mine's beautiful. I only wish you were here to share it with me. <laughs> they talk for the whole movie. <laughs> like, and they're not in the same room for all of it, you know? And... I just kind of enjoy it. And there's also a standout part of the movie where, tied into the architecture thing, he sends her on a guided tour of Chicago, which is known for fantastic architecture. And so she's following a map and his notes and they, they intercut it with him planning the walk for her. So he's walking the same streets Having the two actors from Speed star in the same movie, but share like no scenes almost throughout, it really led to the same kind of frustration that they are feeling to us as audience members who love these two actors and want to see them back together, you know? So that kind of works, really. I might also have a crush on this movie because it does a good job of displaying the muted decade of the 2000s. This was a 2006 film and the most like outstanding thing about it is probably Kate's haircut, which is so mid 2000s, right? I miss the lake house and its trees. When the big thing is revealed, I remember when I first watched it, I didn't get it. 
the second time I watched it, I think it was 10 minutes into the movie, a big thing happens that is tied to the big thing that you don't realize the first time around. The first time around, it's just something that happens to Kate and you think it's just part of her character developing. No, the second time you watch it, you realize, oh my God, this is the plot. And I remember that was an extremely exciting feeling, a thrill running up my spine of, aha, I got it, you know? And I, feel, I still feel that. I still feel that every single time I watch it. Who did this drawing? Brother. Alex Weiler. So if you're a sap like me and you're looking for a romance, try this one. Keanu Reeves. She was more real to me than anything I've ever known. Sandra Bullock. It's kind of a long distance relationship. Maybe you'll give up in frustration halfway through, or maybe you'll end up like me and whenever it's on, you will click play and let it flow and feel some things again. One man I can never meet. Him, I would like to give my whole heart to. The Lake House.